I've got a special treat for you guys here. Just made friends with my man Chris, and he might have the sickest musky setup as far as fishing boats that I've ever seen. Wait till you guys check this out. The word on the street is you just yanked a hook out of your leg. I did. <laughs> um, Liz yanked on it for a while out in the out in the boat, and we couldn't get it out. So it came in here and on a sharp knife, did a little incision, and the hook popped right out. Beautiful. Put a little antiseptic on it, and uh, hopefully no flesh-eating bacteria will get in there, <laughs> so I'm going to keep my leg. So I talk Chris into walking us through this dream machine because wait till you guys see this setup on this Ranger 621. It is absolutely, absolutely insane. So yeah, give it to us, Chris. Bow to Stern, man. All right. Tell us about your dream rig. Okay, so um, it's a 2018 Ranger 621. It's got a combination of both uh, Humminbird and Garmin. I think that Humminbird has a little better mapping technology. So we're really using the Humminbird for the mapping and we're using the Garmin uh, live scope up in the front uh, for fish and walleyes. And um, the uh, Humminbird for getting us around. And so we've got all our waypoints marked on the uh, Humminbird. And uh, so it's, it's working pretty well. Nice. The Garmin technology is, uh, as far as the down imaging and the live scope is superior. We'll jump in if you want to look around. Awesome. Or... Yeah. Well, why don't you uh, so let's start from the front here. Um, so you guys are up here musky fishing too, obviously, right? Yep. So we've been mainly musky fishing, doing a little walleye fishing as well so i already yeah. lost that cover the first night i had it <laughs> so yeah I, here's a good thing to do is you put these little zip ties you know around the, oh yeah yep and that holds the cover in place so we got 93 sv up front and a helix 10. um trolling motor is a uh it's with the down imaging the new hdsi um, so when we're walleye fishing, you can jig underneath the boat and see it on on your graph with the live scope. And I notice you've got that separate so I got my mount. Transducer right here. Okay. In this cradle. So that just kind of goes in there like that. Wow, that was actually so, pretty effortless, huh? Yeah, I, I noticed on your boat, you've got it on your on your um, on the shaft. Yeah, I just been a little chicken to do that because I bang my trolling motor into the rocks all the time. So this way, you can just kind of steer it, steer the transducer with this uh, mount. I can't remember who makes this thing. Uh, fishing specialties. Sweet. So. Yeah, I've heard about that mount. I've actually mm -hmm. just never seen one in person. Yeah, I had it on my old boat as well. And. Essentially, what you do is you just kind of kick it with your foot. Okay. When you're fishing. Yeah. Um, I'd really prefer to have it on my trolling motor, and, and now seeing that you banged yours into the rocks and it survived, I think that that's where that transducer wants to go because it's so much easier to do it with your remote or with your foot. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we are up here on a musky hunt, obviously. And seeing the way you have some of this bait storage set up oh. is fascinating. Well, Want to talk um, about this case up front first? I'll tell you what happened earlier today. All these hooks are, one of these hooks was hanging off the side like that. Ooh. And I came into it like that. Oh. And that's where I put... Uh, <laughs> were, there, were there any expletives dropped at that moment, Liz? No? <laughs> So uh, we extracted that hook and we're going to go back out tonight. Beautiful. But <clears throat> the back deck is where things get really interesting. So, um, yeah, Bob Schmidt, just in case boxes, he's in uh, 
Minnesota makes this lure storage system. It acts like kind of a rear casting deck. Um, so we've got um, a bunch of lures in here in these cases. Wow. And so it's got a measuring tape that comes across the back that we've been able to put to use a little bit today. Um, here's something that's kind of cool. He makes this little thing. It's like a little porta, porta potty thing for, ah, for the ladies, when you bring huh? the gal out. Yeah. She can pull that thing out. And you don't have to pee over the side of the boat. Nice. How many baits does this thing hold? Um, you know, I've never really counted, but... You probably don't want to do that, right? You know, it's funny you come up on these trips and you probably bring 500 lures and you end up using the same five all week, you know? <laughs> right. Whatever you catch your first fish on is what you fish with all week. Yeah, but you never know which five those will be. Exactly. Is that other side uh, full of just as many goodies? Um, yeah, this one let's, here. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, This is bucktails on this side. Mm. So you got bucktails and spinner baits. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. Um, That's accurate. Awesome. We got our walleye stuff. Wow. And, uh, hubs and like our map chips and electronic stuff in there. So this really just drops right into the existing rear deck. Yeah. The boat. So yeah, it's actually just two little boxes. That, uh, and uh, so this is a step box right here. So instead of having to make this 14 inch jump, mm -hmm. you step down here. You got more storage. You got more stuff in here. This is where Liz keeps all her spinner baits. She's a spinner bait gal, huh? Mm hmm. And then we got another front. The one that you're standing on right now is another front box where we got our little. Our little bucktails. Amazing. So. Brad. Beautiful rig, brother. Tell us about those seats, too. Oh. Because, you know, I'm a freshwater bass boat guy, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. And that, those look interesting and foreign to me, to be honest. Um, well, it's, um, apparently they have these on tractors. Um, guys that spend a lot of time on tractors, it's just basically a spring that um so when you sit on this thing it just kind of goes it goes up and down so you don't get beat up as much right so gosh you know, why today it's a pretty calm day but not on monday you know <laughs> you're right when the monday water, was rough when, when, when it's rough and you're calm in big water you know, these are the way to go amazing that's cool man How's the musky fishing been going for you this week? Um, good. Uh, Liz has got a 47. I got a 47 and a 46. We got a uh, 36 today. And we're gonna go out tonight and hopefully do a little better. We've seen a bunch of fish today, but they're just they're really uh, kind of sluggish. I don't know. Really? Okay. This is my first it? time at Lake of the Woods, so oh, okay. I'm just soaking it in. Yeah. Really, just going out there blind, just trying to you know yep. figure it out by myself. Mm -hmm. You guys come up here a lot. Yeah, we come up uh, a couple times a year, and you never know where they're going to be. And it seems like today, uh, they're on rock piles. Okay. So we've been running around, finding little rock piles out in the middle of the lake, and we see a fish just, just about on every pile. Wow. And uh, trying to make them go. Right, right. The and, challenge. Uh, yeah, so um, the fish seem to be a little lethargic, and I don't know why that is. I mean, I don't know what the, what's the temp today, like? 80 something it's, it's warm it's hot it is hot you'd think that they would go um but they're coming in real slow and usually when it gets hot like this they come in hot fired up yeah. huh mm -hmm. interesting yeah because it seems like the consensus is it's been a little off yeah for most guys is that what the other guys have said yeah the except or? these guys going out right now they had 18 fish come up this morning and yeah. they hooked a, a 50 that came off on the tail walk but that seems to not be the norm of the storytelling around the campfire the last couple days. Yeah. But to me, this is just musky fishing. <laughs> like, I don't know any different. Have you tried smallies at all? 
Uh, I, I spend quite a bit of time fishing smallies, oh, so, so, but I haven't, I kind of want to, but you know, I got to mm -hmm. stay focused, right? Yeah. Oh, I came here for a big muskie. So okay. every cast I make for a smallmouth is a cast <laughs> I'm not making for a muskie. All right. Opportunity cost is a little too high for me, but awesome. You guys need to go back out and okay. hammer a big one. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, Chris, thank you. Right. It was a pleasure. Nice boat, brother. Ah, Liz, nice 47. Nice Same. You guys are inspiring. What do you guys think of that thing? Rad, isn't it? All right, man, stay tuned. Check it out. What would you guys like to see in your dream boat? What up, George? Getting up the boat after a day of guiding. Ah, uh, yeah, you going back out? Uh, maybe a little bit. We'll see what we can do tonight. Man, word on the street is they hooked a big 50 plus on that Defiant you're throwing around. Yeah, yeah. Dang. They seen. 18 fish 18. in the first three hours of fishing today, so that's crazy. It's a good morning for them. Yeah, man, that's cool. All right, let's get out. <laughs>